Welcome to the workshop on Geometry and Topology in Robotics. We're going to have exciting talks about learning, optimization, planning, and control. Steven Lavalle. Hello, thank you for the opportunity to speak today at the RSS workshop on Geometry and Topology. The title of my talk is Goldilocks and the Robot Brains. Alexander Ternin and Vyacheslav Borovitsky. Today, I'd like to tell you about Gaussian processes on Ramanian manifolds for robotics. This is a joint talk with Vyacheslav Borovitsky, who will be giving the second half of the talk. I will now briefly allow him to introduce himself. Hello, my name is Vyacheslav Borovitsky, or you can call me Slavo for sure. After Alex finishes, I'm going to tell you about geometry aware of Gaussian processes, how to define them, and how to use them. Andreas Orthe. Uh, this is a very challenging motion planning problem because it has 54 degrees of freedom. And our algorithm QMP can actually solve this problem in less than one second. Georgios Arvanitidis. We we'll apply this uh, theory to robots. Uh, the idea is the following. We have a robot, and we collect for data the position of the end effector and the orientation. What we can do is that we can train a VAE and then use simply the pullback metric in the latent space to compute sort of the spots between two states. Herbert Edelsbrunner. It's called the Voronoi path. And there, and this, the square tiling of the plane is replaced by a Voronoi desolation of the plane. Philip Maric. An optimization method is used to find the point set that corresponds to a feasible solution. And finally, the configuration vector is reconstructed from that point set. Daniel Kodishek. You can replan on the fly and use a different composition to get a different lead. And or if the world continues to defy you and the slipping continues and those leaps fail, but you still have a third or fourth plan. We would like to search for periodic motion of these highly nonlinear systems, and it turns out that uh, the most appropriate tool to generalize from the linear case to the nonlinear case, as so often, is. Uh, differential geometry. And Shirley. This RMP framework has been applied to a wide range of robotic system. This is a demo from the original RMP flow paper, where the RMP flow policy is used to control a dual arm manipulator to open a drawer and put an obstacle, uh, put an object inside. Michael Bernstein. So this is a very general design. We can apply it to different types of geometric structures, uh, including grids, homogeneous spaces with global transformation groups, graphs, and manifolds. And uh, we call this the 5G of geometric deployment. Anastasia Varava. Given an object and an obstacle represented as meshes uh, here, so first we construct their spherical representations. So we represent both the object and uh, the obstacle. So in this case, it's a shunk hand and uh, a model of a drill. Janet Borg. A robot to be able to replicate that shape with a new rope that uh, in a different environment that maybe looks completely different, has a different length and so on. And so here is a demonstration of what we can achieve with the system that I'm going to talk uh, about in a bit. Pavan Turaga. In perceptual robotics, typically we talk about video-based sensors, maybe depth sensors once in a while. Uh, my work expands beyond uh, video and you know depth sensors. I also talk about wearable devices, uh, human activity that is sensible by pressure platforms. All the organizers are looking forward to see you in the workshop. Thank you.